the filthy situation, I met Filthy. I had a uh, all white birthday party, like my twenty first birthday party, and uh, I had a section. And he came up in there and basically kind of like bully his way up in there, and, like <laughs> trying to kick me out the section. Hey yo, what's up, people? It's your boy Tizzle from Pirate Talk about Tizzle. I'm here with Young and Stay Paid. Okay. And Skinny, of course. Yeah, yeah, man. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, comment to the channel. Run it up, run it up, run it up. Also, if you have any music, make sure you send it to the Gmail code 7 at gmail.com. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Um, I'll need to tell you how to spell it. Y'all already know what it is, man. As y'all see, we got Young and Stay Paid up in here. Yeah, man. Uh, shit. Make sure you give them all your information, bro. Uh, Instagram, Young and Stay Paid, Young and Stay Paid, uh, on Facebook, basically on everything. Young and underscore stay underscore pay underscore. Yeah, everything. Make sure you follow him. Uh, go check out the YouTube. Check out his YouTube. All the shit. Yeah. And with that being said, let's get into it, man. Uh, no BFE representative. Yeah. What's happening, man? Yeah, man. What's going on? What you been up to, man? We see you poking your head back into the music game, man. What's up? What you got cooking, man? Yeah. Talk to us. Shit, I'm, I'm putting a, a bunch of shit in the work right now. Honestly, uh, shit. With the, with the tape that's finna drop, the streets hot is young too. Uh -huh. I'm working on a couple other little singles and shit I'm putting together. I got some clothes and shit I'm trying to put together. Okay. Um, basically, hella shit, bro. My head in a whole bunch of different places, to be honest with you. But I, I've been seeing a lot of people in the city doing a lot more music lately, and that's yeah. kind of made me want to jump yeah. back where, 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 I, where I know I should be at already. You know, yeah. Like, what well, it was playing. like seeing that, man. Like, because you know, you was. One of the young niggas that was young, shooting videos, doing it all, right? Yeah. Then you kind of back away now. Everybody want to get motivated. And right. Shit. I, right. No, for real. <laughs> shit, I, I can't say it like that. I just feel like it's maybe it's just the time in the city right now. You yeah. Know, where, where people honestly can be heard and seen a little bit more. So I feel like people feel like they chances a lot. You know, a lot. So like taking advantage of it right yeah, now. Yeah. Straight up. So I feel like it was my time to take advantage of it. Shit. Right. Yeah, really. People listening, man. Like we uh we all out here listening to local music right now, man. We putting it on that plateau. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think it's a good time, man. Because it's a lot of sound. Like the the sound you kind you always go with. I hear it a lot now. You know. Right. You and Wade. You and uh, Wade. Y'all yeah, yeah. kind of was on that sound like a long, long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I used to tell Wade all the time, like, keep going, but he kind of like played with it here and there. You feel me? Now I see him doing it. Yeah, both of them play with it. And now, at first, it's crazy. At first, me and Wade was in the studio like every day. It don't matter what studio it was. It usually was with Hitman, but we was in the studio every day. We meet up if it's in the morning or at night. Some sometime during the day, we both gonna be in the studio. Both gonna be working. Well, you know, sometimes we just go to go kick it and shit. But, <laughs> yeah. You know, we was really taking it serious for a good minute, and I feel like it wasn't like a discouraging thing. We just wasn't really getting where we wanted to be with it, a hundred percent. That's yeah. how I feel. But as soon as y'all stepped in, it's like y'all got some exposure. Like as soon as y'all yeah. stepped in, niggas was bumping y'all shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's because a lot of people wasn't really, even like people that was cold out here who had music, they wasn't really shooting videos and shit like that. So yeah, right it was just different. We probably just was putting it out a little bit more. Yeah, y'all y'all yeah. was for we sure flooding it in the face. Like, yeah. But they, they <laughs> was playing y'all shit, they was doing everything. So what was your start into getting into music? When was you like, all right, yeah, let me, I want to rap or whatever? Um, shit, really? I don't know, it was in Utah. Really, I started rapping. In Utah. I went to jail and I was just writing shit. That's really what it was. <laughs> really. So you were just uh, out there in Utah? Yeah, yeah. You I was, lived I out there for a minute? Yeah, I, I was lived out there for a year. I was going to Dixie. I went to okay. Dixie going to college for a year. Okay. And until I got in trouble and got into jail and shit like that for that. Okay. Uh, that's when really when I started the music. Really, I wasn't rapping or doing nothing. I was just out there hustling and going to school. Yeah. So when you start doing music out there, you said we was t we was t we spoke earlier, and you was like they was fucking with you out there. Yeah. What was the first time when you spit some shit and you felt like I'm really I'm really dope at this shit? Like you know when somebody else was like, hey nigga, that shit was fire. Who opinion mattered enough like to re resonate with you? Um, 
I don't know shit really to school. I really That's I had cool. yeah, it was this oldest freestyle. I think it was YG who started it. I wanna think I think it was YG. But it was the oldest freestyle and I did it. And uh, it was this little cool white boy at my at the school who used to do recording and shit and he shot a video to it. And shit I put it out in, in Utah, people was going crazy for that mm -hmm. shit. It was crazy, so shit, they responding to it, it made me just feel like shit, maybe I should really push forward on it. And I already did. Straight out stuff. Mm -hmm. out. On everything. So we spoke right. earlier. You've been doing this for, you know, some time. Right. Shit, we don't know if it was seven, five, whatever. You've been doing it for a minute. You know <laughs> right. what I'm saying? Right, right. Even from Utah. Um <clears throat> Yo introduction to filthy and no bfe how did that happen when i set that bitch down don't let her perp hey, it's filthy, nigga. fuck around and hit uh -huh. you for a probably when i set that Lock. bitch down my new bitch at the law five yeah. my new cartiers cost five i had ten but i five five Defeat 10, I don't want five i'm a god in oak uh -huh. legend in vegas if she ain't in the club she gonna hit the Filthy situation, I met Filthy, I had a uh, all-white birthday party, like my 21st birthday party, and uh, I had a section, and he came up in there, and basically kind of like bully his way up in there, like <laughs> trying to kick me out of the section, but I had rented out the whole club, so it was, it was crazy, so I'm like, hell no, nah. and we kind of like got into it or whatever, and they straightened it out, and he sent me a bottle, and shit. I was rocking Yeah, we kind of been rocking sands, it's weird. Man, that's why like, I for real. I never even knew who he was, nothing. Never heard his music, nothing. Then he just like, man, take my number. And he was like, two days, like, I got a video shoot, pull up. But he like, pull up by yourself. And I'm like, hell no. Nah. But I pulled up. <laughs> Shit, he shot some videos. He was some, some big artists too. And ever since then, he was just fucking with me, really. Oh, so he, he got you back into music? Or how yeah, because like, I was I was fucking with him in Utah, but I had stopped. Like, I was started back hustling, like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like, of course, they was giving me little shows here, and you could open up for the school and shit like that, so I'd do it, but I wasn't taking it serious until I started fucking with him. And he started, like, to help me take it serious. You saw his work ethic and shit? Yeah, for sure. I don't think there's nobody working harder than him in the, in the, in the rap game. That's being honest. Like, for real, for real. And I'm like, I mean, he like, do talk a lot. Yeah, he do talk a lot. He do. Like, I can honestly say, every second of the day, he don't waste no time. If he ain't really getting some money, he really writing in his phone or like listening to the beat. He really like attached to this shit for real. He That's really, dope. That's dope. yeah, I ain't never heard nobody really work that hard. It's good to hear that side, that side like, of it. Real. You know? Like, yeah. Because a lot of people don't know, man, like, what people go through as artists. Like, yeah. like filthy, y'all might, people don't know, like, he living off of his raps. He he living good. You feel me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like he really putting a lot into it. Motherfucker ain't just waking up, slapping their fingers, and becoming a rapper. Right. A successful rapper. Right. You can rap at home forever. But as far as getting your ends right. from it and knowing the business part of it, you yeah, feel me? Facts, right. facts. I know being around him like it help you adapt to that part a little easier, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. He, he kind of introduced it to me in, in the right way. You know what I mean? Put me in the right people. Showed me how to do it, showed me how to put my shit up. Well, he kind of helped me send, send it to the right people to put it up, how to get paid from it, all that shit. Like, it was easy. That's and he did that just on the strength of y'all was homies. It wasn't even like, oh, I think your, your music, it was like. Yeah, just off homies. He ain't, <laughs> I'm sure he didn't think I was the tightest rapper. He just thought I had an image. He like, bro, you like that? You a young nigga in the city, everybody know you. Like, Want it. Like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck with it. Hey, on me, ain't nothing wrong with that though, man. That's how most, nah, that's how it be though. If you see a young motherfucker, we spoke about that earlier. Yeah. Some motherfucker just got like a little glow to him, man. We, when you older, you see the young nigga, you be like, hey, man, that young nigga gonna be old something. He yeah. probably don't even know what he's supposed to be old yet, yeah, but let me go ahead and play in a little. That's how for real. That's, that's exactly dope. what he did too. For real. So, recording, like, you getting in, recording all your videos. Ace, I ain't gonna say ASAP, but probably a few years in. Mm -hmm. Y'all was doing shows. Right. You getting paid features. Right, for sure. A lot of niggas do it for like 10 years trying to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> so, I feel like it, it was a blueprint to it, but he that's feel shit, really. I ain't gonna lie, he opened up some doors fast, bro. Fast. So I kind of got lucky, you know what I mean? Right. And I didn't even, I wasn't around on the be no rapper. Like, nigga, I wasn't, I wasn't even on that. Yeah. I was just still doing me, getting money, and yeah. shit, he just seen like, you got that image, bro, like, you should do it. Yeah, he's like, and I had already did it before, so he like, man, fuck it, do it. Oh, huh, why not? Nah. Yeah, like, my second song was, y'all ever heard of GT from Detroit? Nah. He a big rapper, he was Peasy and Babyface Red and all them. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think somebody was just talking about him. He a big rapper, man, GT from Detroit, he, he cold, man. Yeah. Shout out my guy, for real. 
But Philly threw me on the song with him, like, first time meeting this dude. And I didn't even know he was as big as he is. He yeah, yeah. Millions of views Damn. on YouTube. He go crazy. That's dope, Hell man. Hell of views. Like, he up there. Big money, all the shit. So he put you right. He's showing the nigga right in love. He put me in the dough, bro. He put me in the dough. So Gave me a feature, too. Like, just he put me in the dough. And it was you, <laughs> like, so you, pretty, all y'all yeah, still. Yeah. I know y'all still tight. Y'all still know yeah. no BFE. Um, we was just listening to no BFE 4. Yeah. Um, what's the atmosphere when it's all y'all in the studio? Hmm. A whole bunch of clown shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's like clown shit and then it be serious shit. Cause Phil get serious, you know, when he feel like it. So, it be like, we be all joking and, you know, the niggas be falling asleep and clown. You know, just yeah. normal brother shit. Right. But, but when it be time to get to it, he be like, bro, I need to knock this shit out. Like, you gotta do a verse, then you gonna do a hook, then he gonna do a hook, then he gonna do the verse. Yeah, so he be, we, we still get the shit done for sure. Like he made, he, so he make y'all really work. Yeah, man. He, that's why I nigga know you around Phil, you gonna do some type of work, bro. For <laughs> real. It's like, it ain't never just no fun. Well, I ain't gonna say that. We have fun, but it's always work, bro. That's right. Always. What's your writing process? You write, you write, or you just go in there and punch in? Uh, I go in and I punch in. Uh, certain beats, if people send them to me and I be at home, certain, certain shit I write to. Like, if it's deep to me, I write to it for sure. All right. You got the studio at home or something? I seen you one day you went live. You was like, I don't know if you are in the studio. I know you playing your music. Yeah, I got, like, a studio at the house, but it's not. I don't got, like, the mic and the shit, so it's like... You would think you was at a real studio when you walk in there, <laughs> but it's really like a game room slash studio. <laughs> so it's really a studio, but it's, it's I turned it to a game room. So I got the lights, the computer, all the shit like a, like a studio, but without no mic. That's no, like, no mic. Literally, <laughs> everything, 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 no mic. I swear to God. That's so crazy. you really think you're in the studio? Why not just go get a mic? I don't know, because I know how to record myself now, too. I don't feel like I like the sound from me recording at home. Oh, you like but you yeah. can send it out to the people that do your shit. That's what Cross be telling me. He keeps saying that, but I, I just don't <laughs> he like it. Saying that. Saying, <laughs> I just don't like it. I be like, oh, I don't like that shit. <laughs> but, but you could be right there doing it for me, and it could be my mic at my house, and I like it. Yeah. But if I got to do it, I be like, I don't like it. I don't know. That's it's crazy. Weird. That's so crazy. you like being a... Uh, you kind of like being like being around somebody, or yeah. you know what I'm saying, to really get into your mode. For sure. If it's just you, you ain't on. Nah, when it's just me, I'm I'm be going into like sad mode and shit. I don't know. I be chilling. <laughs> yeah, I start writing the press music when it's other people around and shit. I be like, then I get some vibes. You know energy. what I'm saying? Some energy. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. That's cool. That's <laughs> that's Anytime crazy. It's just that's me, weird. I be like. I hate this shit. <laughs> Why'd I be here? <laughs> <laughs> but if y'all here, I'd be like, hell yeah, yeah, bro, what we doing? Like, let's get some turn up shit. <laughs> so, so you and Cross got a kind of a dope relationship. Yeah, that's uh, my big brother. You know, like friendship and or whatever. Um, you know, I heard the track y'all doing. You said y'all y'all plan on working on a uh, a tape. How did how did any of that come about as far as like to work together? Cause niggas could be homies and both could be doing music, but they don't want to do music. But they don't do music together. Yeah, it happens all the time. Shit, well, it was years that we didn't do music together, and we both was doing music. And then, um, shit, one day I kind of got him like, nigga, what the fuck, bro? Like you, my big brother, you going crazy? Why well, ain't got no song with you? And shit, <laughs> we did a song, and shit, it sounded tight. And he, was, he still never like put it out there like that, so I was still kind of upset. Like, damn, bro, like what's up? <laughs> like I ain't tight enough for what? And he like, nah, we gonna do another one. We did another song and shit. We, we really got like four or five songs, to be real, like over time. Okay. And ain't nobody heard nothing other than Story Run. And that ain't even out yet, it's for the drop. But, uh, and that shit hard, that's the shit we heard, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that shit dope as fuck, man. Okay. And y'all shooting visuals to that. Yep, yeah, we, fin we finna get that shit done. See in Deluxe. How many uh, um, visuals you think you gonna shoot for your next project? And he said it's gonna be six uh, songs? Six songs, okay. six songs, yeah. For six songs, I'll probably shoot three four videos. Okay. Top, okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna shoot all of it. So this is just a, a warm up, you said. This is just you yeah, this reintroducing is, yourself. Yeah, this is an introduction. Yeah, I gotta wake the game back up. Okay. So I wake the game back up. Okay. So um, once you get past this, what you what you think? Uh, as far as an album, you'll give a full, because it's only six songs. Yeah. You'll give a full length album after this? Or you're uh, no, I'm gonna drop another tape. I, I, I yeah. plan on building this shit up a little bit, you know, yeah. keep making them want it a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah. And then when I feel like my views and listens is getting up a little bit more, then I put out something like an album. Okay. So then I don't feel like it's pointless, you know what I'm saying? You put right. out an album and you 13 people listen to it, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Yeah. facts. <laughs> yeah, so Facts, I mean, that happens like, a lot. So I got to kind of rebuild my fan base a little more again. 
That's what I feel. Just the time though, because everything going around about music, you see people real emotional, people when they feelings about it, they let you know people, people care. Work. Yeah. Even though everything might not be going perfect, you know people actually care. That's people right. have favorites and we got some quality work coming out. And one thing about you, listen to your music to your music, all your shit sounds clear as hell. Right. Right, you know what I'm saying. So you already ahead of the game for that, as far as the quality. Right, you know quality I mean? is where it's at. Yeah, because this quality sounds good as a motherfucker. Yeah, for you know sure. I mean? Quality in the grind is where yeah, it's at. I'll pay for the studio if it's if it's if it got the right quality for sure. I hear a couple niggas mentioning names, but when they see me in the streets, they want to dab and shake hands. The same one took the case and ain't crack on the stand. And mentioned names, I took my charge and did my time like a man. I hopped out and knocked this bitch and got right to the bands. Three titties, one beamer, not to mention the bands. 21 years old and I ain't mentioning friends. But I was really outside when you niggas was in. So, with um, who's your inspiration? Um, Boosie. <laughs> yeah? That's yeah. it. I ain't gonna even lie. Boosie was the only one? That's it. That's all I listen to. Still? <laughs> to this day. Every day I get in the shower, I say, Alexa, play Boosie on Pandora. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. That's That's crazy. My bitch thing go crazy. She be like, <laughs> that's right. I be in there hype. It could be the old song. I be in there acting a fool. She <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no more. What's your favorite Boosie project? Um, I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, that's how you could tell you really fuck with somebody. Yeah, I can't, yeah. I can't really just say one to be honest, cause I really fuck with all his shit. I feel like he just tell a million stories, and I feel right. like I live half of them. So we just yeah. relate like that. And fuck with it. Straight up. So even his new music and all that. Nah, the new music is like whatever. I'm like really on NBA Youngboy with the new shit. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. I like all the down south music. To be honest, I listen yeah, to a lot of down south shit. Too. Really, you kind of tell in your music. Yeah, I yeah. listen to a lot of that shit for sure. Or that type of sound. Yeah, and, and you can tell you travel a lot too. Yeah, you know I mean, you can around. tell you've been in some you different spots. Around. Yeah, I'm moving around. For sure. How was Utah for that year? To going out there Utah for college was and lit. all that. That shit was lit. That's a different type of uh, that's a different type of party, brother. <laughs> you gotta be strapped on and ready to go out there. <laughs> yeah. What made you stop leaving Vegas and going to Utah for college? Um. Shit, honestly, I wasn't planning on going to college. Like, I didn't even graduate at first. Feel me? I, like, I walked and all the shit. I got my shit now. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm dummy, but kids, yeah. get your diplomas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I got it now. But I had left, and I ended up doing something and coming up on some money. And I was kind of scared, really, being in the right. city. So I turned up and left and went to Utah. And my mom was just like, you need to go to college. I, mean, I can't go to college. I ain't graduating. She like, they say you can pay for it. So I paid for it. I literally paid for it. They gave me classes, everything. Like I was really on campus doing everything. It's crazy. That's crazy. That's <laughs> crazy. Really, I paid the whole thing. It's like eight thousand dollars. I just paid it. I had the money and everything. I ain't. But you, paid. but you walked though. Yeah, I walked. They ain't need none of that. So you had all your credits. You just didn't have. I just didn't have didn't my, pass my the, proficiency. Uh, proficiency. Yeah, right. Right. Got you. Got That's you. That's what had me. Mm -hmm. I had enough credits for sure. It, that damn math test, I couldn't pass it. So you yeah. just said, "Fuck it, you pay for this." Yep. Yeah, it was weird. I didn't even think they was gonna let me do it like that. But I really went down there. They gave me a tour to school, acting like everything. I paid my shit for the whole first semester, eight thousand. And it was done. That's so, for real. So now you're a street nigga around a bunch of white boys. Yeah, and my cousins <laughs> and them was down there too. So that was like a little bit pushed me a little bit more to go down there. Like they was telling okay. me how turned it was. Like man, these white girls crazy. Man. <laughs> Showing titties and ass everywhere. And I'm like man, I wasn't gonna see that shit. So I was like, <laughs> I was ready to go see it anyway, so that was my first escape. I'm like an hour away, two hours, I got right on the road. I was out of there. Damn, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's love, though. It's it, right it, because, you know, being here, it's it's hard to pack up. Pack up and leave? Yeah, it is, man. It's hard to pack it's up. Like, we talk about it so much. Like I left, I went to Texas for like... Four or five months. Now I was gonna stay. I would have stayed if I didn't have you know cases right. and shit going on. I would have stayed. Right. But even being there, it was still like I want to go home. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm that's saying? Like that's how I felt. But like, I was so close. But I'm like anytime my mom be like, I'm gonna go make this and this and I'm like, cool. I'm gonna come tomorrow. Don't tell nobody. And like I really get on the road, drive two hours, go to my mom's house, stay the night. Next morning, drive back. Like okay. I was, so I was coming back to Vegas a lot, but people just oh, yeah. wasn't even knowing. Yeah, you was, you I was right. Yeah, I was really oh, coming. Man. Motherfuckers like, ain't nothing like Vegas. 
you know, we grew up here, man. This 24-7, man. As other places, man. And we and a lot of people know they probably would do better in other places. For sure. But it's just something about Vegas. Vegas have a hold of a nigga, man. It's a comfortable, comfortable thing, maybe. Yeah, yeah we be, be too comfortable. Yeah, you know, like even even when you don't kick it with your niggas, like you ain't gotta kick it with your niggas all the all the time, talk to them all the time, but it's just I don't know, you just be yeah. so used to just being here. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Really? Like and like I just know here. Right. Yeah. For I can real. go pull up at you know what I'm saying? It's Hell easy. Yeah. I know what food spots, I know what side of town. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. I know how I gotta act in certain yeah, areas, you know. you know what I mean? How I'm addressed to get that you shit everywhere. Yeah. You out of town, you don't be knowing shit. You know? And then out of town shut down. This ain't the wrong corner. Oh bitch, it might get ugly. It might get ugly. And out of town shut down so early. I think the pandemic hitting the the pandemic hitting probably was our first uh oh, yeah. time being like this ain't on the same Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Like that's when it, it was, was different. Weird. Like it was weird. Nigga really like, had to sit in the Walmart house. clothes. I can't go to Walmart. Right yeah. now. Like shit was weird. Yeah, like for real. Yeah. Made you get your priorities go. in order. Right. <laughs> for real. <Early>. Right. Pandemic <laughs> <laughs> was probably the only trip. time when I was like, maybe I can live somewhere else. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. For real. Because you know how it is out here. We wake up two, three in the morning. We want to go somewhere. We you can. Know. You can yeah. do whatever you want to do. So when it's like you can't go nowhere, like yeah. you mean I gotta stay in the no, bed. No, that shit crazy. Like, nigga really <laughs> wake up sometimes, nigga. I be sleep like supposed to be going out 10, 11 o'clock. Cross my call me one, two in the morning. Like bro, where you at? This shit popping, bro. Like come on. Like it's two in the morning. Like bro, you get dressed. Come on, I'm telling you, bitches outside everything. Right. I'm getting dressed. Like I'm on the way, bro. This is good. <laughs> Pulling up, nigga still going to club. This shit See? crazy. Like four or five in the morning. Wow, like <laughs> yeah. and, and motherfuckers been doing that since they were like seventeen. Since yeah. you was a kid. That's the crazy part. For motherfuckers real. was living like that by when they were seventeen. So man. we don't understand nothing else. Like, like this shit. world been up to this. Here you know what I'm make you go oh, fast. fast. You gonna you see do. some shit fast. Other kids wow. might not have never seen a stripper pole or none of that shit. You, see that you could be in the car leaving school and see that shit on a billboard. It's not even on the car. On me. <laughs> like, mama, what she doing? On me. One eight hundred days and that shit crazy. Yeah, that's it. I remember so back in the day on the uh, strip. Remember they had a. Uh, Freaky books all through the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All when you walking on the strip, man. Yeah, pick everyone, it up. Yeah, yeah. pick them up. We young as hell, oh, like really? looking at everything. Yeah, hell yeah. They got those little like, stars and shit, but nigga, we know what the fuck is there. We know what's going on for sure. We know what's there. Sure. They ass have nigga like so they get something different. So, yeah. like, I shout out to y'all that was able to up and leave because yeah, you got to see it strength. worked out for some motherfuckers. It you know what I'm saying? Really. It do work out, but it's hard. It it's is. hard. That's why when I anytime I hit DT, like. Bro, I'm proud of you, bro. Yeah, bro what? I be going. I go. I go out there a lot too. To see him. Yep, see I just seen him bro, a couple times. I go out there a lot. That's yeah. that's like a little hideout, man. That's a good hideout. Yeah. Man, we ain't gonna say where it's sitting. Know it's a good hideout. You know? <laughs> Y'all need a hideout. You know, come hide up. Hide in. So it'd be good. It'd be good to see them niggas just you know different cities and you know doing whatever politics yeah, and business. Yeah, he opened up a big business. Yeah, out too. he doing his thing. Yeah, he, he doing his thing. So shout <laughs> out to bro. Yeah, so going from street shit to business, and now you like you said you trying to get some clothes in and all that. Yeah. The process is it different? Like. Is that slow money? Like, where is it at? Mm. Is it different for you? No, nah, not necessarily. See, I'm a lazy type of guy, so <laughs> I, like, I just like to pay for everything. Like, for real. So, like, I hit this person. Like, look, you want to make some money? That's what you're going to have to do. Like, I'm going to need you to check on this every Wednesday at this time. I'm going to pay you 100 bucks. So, like, I always, like, pay people to do shit. It's crazy. I'm, 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 so, you, you, your process just come through. Somebody else got to come tell yeah. you because you ain't going to figure yeah. it out. I like make myself the boss in my own way. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want me to be a boss? I'm going to make myself the boss. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, I don't feel like it's the slow money. You know, all money, shit. Any money, slow money, fast money. I, I want it. I'm taking it all. Shut up. I take all that shit. Dollars and all, quarters. I, I add it all up. For real. <laughs> <laughs> how, you, how you feel the uh, rap scene is right now in Vegas as far as the local artists, man? And uh, who you who some cats you bumping right now? You think going crazy? Ooh, that's a good one. The Vegas scene, the music scene, going crazy right now. That's why I'm that's why I'm trying to put my foot back in because it's, it's looking too damn good. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. People I listen to right now, everybody say Young Grease, so obviously Young Grease. Listen across. I don't want to just say my homies because I really listen to a lot of other people. So I listen to like um um Pooh Pistol's cool to me. I yeah. like his music. Okay. Um the it's a dude named Chow. 
Child 1.5. Yeah. I like his shit, man. Yeah. He I going just crazy. Up too. Yeah, we just got on it. We yeah. just did a reaction. Yeah, me too. He going crazy. Shout yeah, out to Ellie. We, we got some shit coming too. I just have like, bro, we got some shit Child coming. Child 1.5 and uh, TP So Vegas. Both TP them so niggas work Vegas. together. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. yep. Damn, man, what's the other dude's name I'll be listening to? Oh, James West. I like oh, James yeah. West music. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free James like West, man. He got to stay out there. I like Dooney shit too. Dooney coming crazy right now. Dooney. He just dropped the song with him and Pooh Pistol. Yeah, he going crazy. I said, Damn, where you been? Where the fuck you been at, man? You going crazy. Kidding. Yeah, going <laughs> Shout crazy. out to Dooney, man. Yeah, yeah. I listen to just those shit. It's a couple people, bro. I listen to everybody's yeah. shit. Oh, Doe, yeah. yeah. Do, I just yeah. be scheming through too. shit. Yeah, I just be scheming through shit. I listen to Weebo shit still. Yeah. The yeah. old shit, the new shit. I listen to everybody's shit. Straight up. Straight he, did, up. He, he finna drop a video. Just got a premiere on my damn phone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Weebo. Mm. Uh, Weebo, yeah, he dropping something. Yeah, he working hard, too, man. Who's some cats you ain't worked with, man, that you want to work with? Um... I want a song. I'm well. I can get a song with a lot of people, but I want to do a song with like I like Todd Herbo. Yeah. I want okay. to do a song with him. I like, but I think we can make some dope shit. Um, Hefe. Y'all know who Hefe is? I just I heard that name. name. Yeah. Hefe. What do you call it? Hefe. I can't, I can't think of it. him. Yeah. Um. What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm always willing to work. Shit, I'm open. You know Straight up, that's dope. And we, I feel like we got the same type of category and shit. We, we, we gonna work. You know what I mean? If we don't, you know, it's always gonna be a feature. So, you know, everything yeah, we do. Yeah, figure something out. Yeah, we figured out. That's what's up, man. Why so you back on it, man? You say you, you really gonna take it serious this time? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the full, I'm in the full throttle. 100%. Yeah, this nigga hit me up months ago. Like, bro, I'm ready. I ain't here for the nigga. Man, person. listen, he was talking about we can, can't get you in August. I'm like, damn, August, my tape gonna be dropped already. Bro, we, we be having shit yeah. like y'all fucking right crazy, now. That's man. the crazy part. I'm like, yeah, I, that's what I'm like. I need to get on that shit. How can I get on that shit? Every time I see them, like. I need on that shit, bro. I need to get on that shit. I'm hitting people up like, bro, what I need to do to, how you get on there? What did you just what'd you do? Did you hit him on the email or what? Like, I'm trying to get a hold of him, bro. Drop some music. Oh, that, that's, that's what, what, you, that's what, what you do. That's what it is. You trying to pay for okay. everything. Okay. You got to drop okay. some music. That's what it was. I feel For that. real, man. I show, like, you got some new people. like, man, I ain't dropped a video in probably like three years, yeah, bro. I ain't dropped it in a minute. <laughs> Don't worry, and these new videos gonna be crazy. For real. I can't new wait to see it. dropping on the 16th. Everything gonna be for my birthday, so you gonna see a lot of shit. I got a new wig. You did say I got, your birthday. I got a lot of, I got a lot of shit coming, man. It was crazy not seeing you shoot something, because like I spoke, spoke to you about earlier. Uh, when I first came home, That's what he I was doing. home for like three months, you were shooting the video. Yeah, you feel me? Sure you and you my name the wrong way, believe my niggas coming. If you ain't know I'm young and paid, the youngest niggas stunting. I'm finna do it for my niggas who ain't get to see it. You were shooting a crazy nigga. Yeah, I was shooting a video. I had a good video, man. I was fucking with Will. So he was fucking with me. Like every week, he just kept me waking up like, it could be 2 in the morning, like, bro, what you doing? Let's shoot a video. I'm going to come to your house. I'm just like, bro, I'm tired as hell. Like, hey, bro, get up, bro. And he just come, get shooting. We just make it happen. Mm, that's crazy. So he bro. just, anywhere, we could be going to the mall, and he'd be parking the garage, like, bro, come on right now. Put the song on. He, he just do it. it. He was on it. So Where he at? Where he on? He went, he went back to Seattle, man. Oh, like, damn. Oh, God, I wish he stayed here. Trust me. <laughs> you still be in touch with him? Yeah, I done holler at him a couple times. I done a couple times. That's cool. That's I, cool. I need to go out there and get some more work, man. Yeah. But I, I wish he would have stayed because I would definitely have a lot more. So yeah, yeah, man, you, you need that motivation. So, yeah. uh, new project dropping. New, we heard two of the songs. Pressure. I, I fuck with pressure a lot. Yeah, I fuck with pressure a lot. The one you and cross. I can't wait till y'all finish and get it chopped this way. It's supposed run, to be chopped. Store run, yeah, yeah store run is cool. Yeah, so yeah. I can't wait to hear hear what you got. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I tell like everybody got different sounds, and now I'll be like, you know, trying to. See, y'all ain't like heard. That. It's one good one. It's um, back against the wall. And it's a, uh, I don't know if I sent you that one. It got, oh, it got like the news. Clip. I got, I got two more songs from you. I can't think of the first one. The first one you sent me like two, three months ago. Yeah. Well, this, well, this one probably not that, but this okay. one, this is the most important one since my situation I went through. And uh, it's called Back Against the Wall. It got like the news clip and all the shit that happened. About okay. the shooting and all the shit, so it's an important song. That motherfucker, I was supposed to been put it out as a single, but I've been holding on to it, so that's one that everybody definitely. And that's on it. this project. That's on this project. Okay. Yeah. Back yeah. against the wall, yeah. man. Yeah. That's a big one. Show, man. That was deep, you, Just make, be ready for that. Yeah, yeah. We, we waiting, man. When you waiting, get man. it, when you um shoot it to me. Yeah. Yeah. I have to shoot the video. And uh, I gotta shoot a video for that. One. Yeah. We'll, we'll do, you know we'll do our thing, yeah. man. So yeah, I gotta hear that, man. So that's crazy. yeah, man. But shit, man. Before we get up out of here, man. 
This is a segment called Game for Lames. Let the people know some game you've acquired in life that you feel in. Help you die some bullshit you feel in. Help you stay on a straight and narrow. Mm, that's, a, that's a tough one. Um, like some game OG, somebody might have gave you, you know what I mean? Man, like, mind your own business, man. <laughs> Straight up. I'm more like, me mind my own business, save me out of a lot of shit. Because I can always be like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> and I can honestly be like, I don't know. Like, people like, this, I mean, you're like, listen, bro, I don't even know about that shit. I ain't gonna Straight up. And I, I, I feel like, so, you ever, people be on your head and trying to tell you some shit and you really don't want to be involved? I don't know. Keep it at that. Mind your business. That's fine. I don't shit, know. For real. That shit got to be a lot of bullets. Hey, that's 100, though. <laughs> a lot of beef, for a lot of everything. Just by saying, bro, listen, I told bro, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Whatever so y'all did was between y'all, cause I told him I don't know. Like I told you I don't know, cause I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't tell you shit else. For real. For real. But shit, man. Thanks for stopping by, man. You know, yeah, drop that heat, man. All the time. Man. Vegas, we here. Yeah. Thanks for pulling up on us, man. And Cold Seven, Pilot Talk by Tizzle. Yeah, man. Young and State Pay was in the building. We'll get with y'all later, man. We are gone. Yeah. How the fuck you winning if you lost to this? Niggas think they own so they get off in this. It's easy to get cross to this. Hon, 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 T.O.P., we gon' get far from this. Step up in they town and burn it down like I'm a horse.